This video is designed to help you understand some of the properties and actions of a thermistor. And you can see the thermistor that I have held between the two crocodile clips. It's the small dark disc, although they come in various shapes and sizes. Now, the important thing about a thermistor is that it has a resistance that changes with temperature. And in my case, the resistance of this thermistor goes down when the temperature of the thermistor goes up. So it can be used to detect temperature if we can measure its resistance. And at the moment, it's in air in the room in my house, and the resistance of this thermistor is 11.3 ohms, or 11.4, depending on where you catch it. So we've got three little beakers here, and I'm going to put it into each one. But let's have a think a minute about why its resistance changes. Well, in this case, with my thermistor, the hotter it gets, the more energy the electrons within the semiconducting material of the thermistor get. And so there are more electrons, more free electrons, able to pass through the thermistor. More electrons means a lower resistance. So to summarize, a thermistor is a device, a semiconductor device, that enables you to measure temperature. So let's put it in very cold water. Now, very cold water means less electrons available, and so the resistance goes up, and you can see it rising steadily now. Well, let's take it out of there. That was almost ice cold water. We'll put it in water that's come out of the tap in my house. And that will have a temperature that is a bit lower than the room temperature. So slightly higher resistance than the room. But of course, um, it will have a resistance that is lower than the very cold water. Well, the final beaker here I've got some really hot water in the thermos flask. It was boiling, but it won't be boiling anymore. But you can see possibly that it's steaming and I'm going to put the thermist in there. Hot water means a lot of free electrons. So therefore, the resistance should go down. And you can see it does very rapidly. And we're down to around two or three ohms now 2.6 ohms and if you look at my characteristic graph of the thermistor resistance against temperature you can see that for a resistance of 2.3 ohms the temperature is somewhere between 70 and 80 degrees centigrade 